Hi guys, I'm with Barbie Holmes. Hi. She's at Barbie Holmes on Instagram. Please follow her. And I met Barbie and had the pleasure of doing her makeup at a women's empowerment conference here in LA called FierceCon. Yeah, fabulous. Amazing, amazing. We hope to see you there next year. Um, but a lot of women asked for a tutorial, a makeup tutorial, give away my tips and tricks, the things that we did at FierceCon to do the makeup there. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna back up. Barbie just had her makeup done. I am so glad. Oops. We did maybe five or six steps to get mm -hmm. her here. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna show you what we did. It's so fun. and it. It, there's so many neat little tricks that will make such a difference and I learned so much. You're gonna love it. Oh, awesome, join us. This makeover is geared to make you look more awake. It's not really an anti-aging, you're not looking younger, you're looking your age, you're looking your best. And one of the things I look for in my makeup is I just wanna look more awake. I wanna look like I've already had my cup of coffee. So I want you to look more awake, I want you to be able to get out the door in 10 or 15 minutes. So it's quick and I'm also featuring Clean Beauty. Los Angeles finest clean beauty brand, La Bella Donna, who sponsored and gave all these beautiful products for us to use. Okay, so here we go. Probably my biggest tip is the easiest one, eyelash curler. So we're going for a more awake look. You have to use your eyelash curler. Um, at FierceCon, I had some women in the chair that called this the device of torture. Uh, it makes such a huge difference. It's worth it, it to use it. You know, I used to use it when I was young all the time, and I've gotten out of that habit. Mm -hmm. So it's time to revisit that. I thought, you know, it might be damaging to the eyelashes. No, just make sure, like you guys can see, this pad is new. Yeah. I'll replace them a lot. You don't ever want to be where you can squeeze down and this top part can go really crunch down lower. That's when you know the pad needs to be replaced. Cool. And you can get them on Amazon, yeah. like 100 new pads, and then look down. So as you guys see, I'm just kind of lifting up a little bit. I almost want to go in closer. And then look down. So I have it open. I'm kind of lifting her lash to go in. Can you guys see that? And then there it is. You okay? Mm-hmm. I don't even notice it. Okay, good. So you see that I'm not just going in once. I get the lash loaded into the curler and then I'm pressing. Because imagine if you tried to curl your hair with this and no heat, it, it's gonna take a little bit of finessing to get them to curl. Mm -hmm. But can you guys see the difference? The lashes usually grow downward like a hood, so we're bringing them back up. That's the biggest one. I think that's the, the thing that makes the most difference and then look down, which is why all the promise of the lash lift and lash extensions are so popular right now. You okay, Barbie? Mm -hmm. Okay, lash is curled. So out of habit, because my clients will sometimes ask me for um, a glitter green smoky eye or they'll ask me for something really wild, I just out of habit do the eyes first. And I suggest you do the same. It gives okay. you a lot more freedom as you work. So if anything That's moves. interesting because I always thought, oh, the foundation first, right? Mm -hmm. But oh, eyes first. It's always eyes to know. first, always eyes first. So okay. this one is Labella Donna's Clean Beauty Mascara. No tar, no gunk. Um, I'm gonna use this as mascara and also as liner. So I, I wanna show you that trick. I never leave the house without mascara. I am so fair. And then look down. It makes such a difference. So as you can see, I'm really wiggling. There's a little bit of product at the end. You guys see that? There's just a little bit extra. So I'm trying to work that towards the root of the lash, if that makes sense. And I'm wiggling and wiggling mm -hmm. and getting in there. I love La Belladonna's mascara. I love Lancome's mascaras. The It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara is great. I use Lan the Lancome, but I am really interested in this uh, brand that you brought today. The clean one. Mm -hmm. So now I'm switching to a small brush, just an, um, a soft brush, of course, because it's going to go close to her eye. And now I'm taking the mascara wand and I'm grabbing some of the eyeliner. I hope you guys can see that. Um, and I'm going to wiggle that and then look down in the roots of the lash. 
Here, I'm gonna have you guys closer yeah, in. That's a game changer. This is, yeah, yeah, this is this a big is one. This is a game changer. So if you guys can see on Barbie, that little bit of skin that's sort of under the lashes, um, it's the upper waterline is what we would call that. Right. So I'm literally taking, it's a clean beauty, it's clean for the eyes, and I'm coloring it in. Can you guys see where I put it? So it's almost like an eyeliner, but it's underneath the lash line. And I find as I age that, that watermark seems to get bigger. And um, if it's um, colored in, I mm -hmm. guess is the term, it really makes a difference for the size of my eyes and that, that awake look that you're talking about. So pretty. And then look down into the side. So I'm just trying to go a little bit further in and coloring all that in. Let's see, Barbie. Oh, I love that. Right. So really get the mascara in there, in the roots of the lashes. That's my best advice. Okay, you guys see the difference between one eye and the other? Big difference. Right? And quick, I feel like this is a quick thing we could do before we zip out the door. And once you get used to, um, you know, um, coloring in that watermark, it gets really easy. You know, if you're not used to it, it might feel a little weird, but um, it gets easier and it makes such a huge difference. Like, look, you can see my, the watermark mark on this side and this one is already marked in mm -hmm. and the eyes, the, other, the, uh, the first eye looks so much bigger. It's funny because a lot of women are afraid to put eyeliner or like that dark line for fear that it'll close the eye in. But mm -hmm. isn't that funny? It actually does make it look bigger. And it definitely gives power to the lashes. It just makes them look so healthy and full. It's actually really pretty in there. Let me get a little bit more. Lovely. I can't even feel the product. Yay! Okay, good. It, it, it just feels like um, it's just part of of the eye. I don't feel like I'm wearing any anything there. I mean, I felt it going on, but I certainly don't, it doesn't feel heavy at all. NYX mm -hmm. Wonder Pencil. This one I'm just gonna use to go almost to outline underneath the brow, if that makes sense. I'm gonna figure out where the brow is gonna be colored in. Can you guys see that? Oh, so yeah. see the little, yeah. the little tiny bit of eczema, it's a concealer pencil that I'm using. So it's gonna conceal it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna blend it out. This is the darker one. If you wanna hurry, you could just swipe on the medium, but I just, I kinda of want it to be a little bit of a highlight too. Yes. Just a little. Just going in a little bit more in depth with the NYX Wonder Pencil. If you look up, Barbie, what I use these for is the bottom waterline. If you make that a little more nude or even some people use a oh, white, look good. how big your eye's getting there. Wow, yeah. That's a great travel tip. That's a great tip. That's what gets red. I always think, oh, you gotta put some dark color in there. Ah, oh, you can. Oh, trust me, you can. But that's what gets red when you get off the plane and you're oh, feeling yeah. jet lagged. Yeah. If you can make that a little brighter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is amazing. I didn't ever think that a light color on the bottom of the watermark of the eye would make that much difference, but my eyes just look larger. That's so cool. Um, now I'm gonna go in, this is La Bella Donna's Brow Kit. Can you guys see that one? So in this brow kit, there is, can you guys see that over mm -hmm. there? There's a highlighter, there's um, a pomade to keep the brows in place, and then there's two brow colors. So two different shades. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna go in with the lighter and just kind of tap in just a little bit where they're, the hairs are a little bit shy. I'm gonna fill in. And this light color, to me, it looks like enough, right? Oh yeah. If mm -hmm. she's gonna negotiate and buy something, I'd do a darker one. So the darker the brow, it, it's more of a power brow if you're gonna do a dark lip, or if you're negotiating, if you're speaking in public, you might wanna go a little darker. Right. But I love the lighter. The lighter to me is, 
lets the eyes do the talking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's, not, it's not a distraction. Right? No, it's soft. So on this side, your brow has these great hairs already. So I'm gonna fill in maybe back here where it's a little bit more shy, the color gets a little lighter. But I don't think the front needs as much as the other side did. So I'm going in line naturally with where your hair is and I'm not creating this whole brow that doesn't exist. Something like that. Now this eye, I really want these hairs to stay in place because if they move, it'll change the shape. So I'm going into the pomade with a spoolie. Oh. And I want this, these hairs Ooh, very pretty. To stay really well groomed. This is great for men too. Like if your husband has to be photographed, it's a nice little perk. Mm-hmm. Something like that. And the same on this side, there's great value to the starting hairs. How's that? Nice. Oh, yeah. The eye is, it's like framing the eye. Mm hmm Yeah. And it's easy. Huh? A difference already. Next up, can you guys see this? This is La Belladonna's concealer. Oh, my God, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Here it goes. <laughs> Oh my god. I'll put that in the video. Next, <laughs> next up is Labella Donuts Concealer number four. You can see it was really raring to get out of there. <laughs> Had to work on it. Man, um, she came through. <laughs> I'm telling you. So I'm just using it on a palette knife just to keep everything sanitary. I'm going to use this almost as an eyeshadow base. So this is the four. I don't want it to be too light. They go one, two, and three up to six so I think the four is really natural the main thing I would say is that make sure you get your concealer you know really load it up and make sure you get your concealer right in there you guys mm. see where I put it like right in this part that usually has a lot of a blue undertone. Oh, it sure does. Right? Yeah. The skin just gets so thin right there. So if you can do two things, curl your lashes mm -hmm. and make sure you get concealer in that inner corner. So look at the difference, one eye to the other, just from that inner corner being filled in. That shadow exists, you know, for everyone. So if you can brighten it with concealer, and it's a place that a lot of women don't put concealer. It's a great advantage. And you'll notice we still haven't done her under eye concealer. You know, that's still a nude area. So before I even get there, but even still the eye is so much brighter and I have really dark circles, but already the eye just is looking so much brighter. You feeling good? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna use the same brow kit. These two colors are matte, they're neutrals. Um, they almost match what she's wearing. So I'm gonna use this and what I call it, I call the windshield wiper crease. A lot of my clients will say, if I'm gonna start wearing eyeshadow, how do I do that? Um, just take your neutral color, and this is really pale. You know, this is a blonde eyeshadow kit. It's a really light neutral with a little bit of um, a sand tone to it. So I'm going halfway between the eyebrow and the eyelashes. You can see Barbie's crease is really well defined. She's very lucky. Um, what I'm gonna do, I just call it the windshield wiper. I literally, like a windshield wiper of a car. I hope that helps you guys. Very, very easy. And it literally is an eyeshadow. That's it. So this would be a quick getting you out the door for a Sunday brunch when you don't wanna to go too crazy and you're wearing a sweater easy. That's the way I would start the eye look. These can be used wet dry. So there's another color that's darker. This is purified water. So you can take some purified water and you can spray this. So it's gonna make the pigment show up a lot darker. Mm -hmm. 
and then take a brush. You're gonna use this as your bottom eyeliner and a little bit on the top as well. Cool. Right? That's so neat, that's so cool. And then look up. This is great for travel. And you could do a black liner underneath. I mean, there are no rules. You, you could definitely do a dark liner, but I just, I'm envisioning you at a Sunday brunch, very casual mm -hmm. and soft. And then close them. So we didn't really put liner above the lash line and I'm using this darker taupe as that liner. And you'll be able to work quickly because remember you don't have any concealer on. So right. you can have a little bit of fun mm -hmm. and you'll know that you're gonna do a concealer after. And then look up to the ceiling. And then close them. Let's see. What do you think? Should we go darker or how do you feel? Mm -hmm. Coming to life. <laughs> Coming to life, Jeff. <laughs> I'm just going into my makeup wipes. These are just Neutrogena wipes. And even if I don't think I dropped anything, I still wipe underneath because there's a little bit on there. Mm -hmm. So even the tiniest bit of your brow or your eyeshadow going underneath there will make you look like you have a dark circle that you don't have. Mm -hmm. So I love to do the eyes first and then jump in there and clean up. I'm learning so much. I've been <laughs> doing everything backwards <laughs> <laughs> for so long. Oh my gosh. So again, I'm going back in. This um, concealer has a lot of hyaluronic, which it's hyaluronic acid, and I know that sometimes will freak some of my clients out, the word acid, but this one is a skincare ingredient that's known for attracting a thousand times its weight in water. Mm -hmm. So it's a great hydrator. And we make it naturally, don't we? And as we get older, we lose it. <laughs> there you go. Now, see, I didn't even know that. Uh, that's because I use it, and so uh, it was concerning to me, too, when I'd hear this acid. Why am I putting this acid on my face? So I Googled. You and did. apparently we do make it naturally. Oh, I love that. Mm -hmm. We just don't have enough in the right places. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you guys notice the placement, the main place I'm putting it is, is right, right here. Right there, and it just, poof, it just disappeared. Mm. If you guys can yeah. see that, it's, it's almost like a deeper, I call it the river valley, because I have it too, very prominently. Um, I don't want to put concealer in a huge way, like in here, in this really delicate area that if I put a lighter concealer here, it's actually gonna make it look puffier. Right, it does. Mm -hmm. You get the puffy eye look. I know some film and TV makeup artists who actually put a darker right here, almost uh -huh. like a dark taupe to make the bag look like it's shrunk. Oh, and they wow. put a bright white right here and on right. camera it looks so really nice. So that it has nice. that illusion. It's not a lot, like you're not using a lot of makeup, but you're putting it strategically in the right place. I love that you said that. Barbie's a painter, you guys. Can you tell? <laughs> she knows her strategic placement. It's very well, true. And you see, and then I have that, that vein there. I don't know if maybe some other women who are creeping up into my age notice that the eyes get, the skin is so thin. And so if you have veins, like I have one on my forehead as well, and this one is, I've always had it, right? But mm -hmm. in the last... Um, five years it's really likes to show off <laughs> really you know it's just very prominent I layered the pencil and the concealer together mm -hmm. almost to give it that velvety texture and right kind of help right it but down. look it's it's gone I'm gonna take the concealer and do just the tiniest bit around the lips I learned this trick just a while ago and it makes a huge difference Doesn't wow it? I was like yeah. This shade is called Marta. So if you guys can see that, it's just a great neutral. It's not too beige, not too gold, not too pink, which sometimes is, is hard to find. So I'm gonna take a little bit of Marta. What I notice on a lot of my clients, especially here in California where it's sunny, is that they're dark. It's a dark mm -hmm. shade. The palest shade is right here under the neck and then medium on the face. So I'm trying to bridge all of those colors and to test that, I'm gonna take the Marta on the chest too. And we're also gonna do a powder setting that has SPF 50, not 15, but 50. Five zero, wow. Yes. And you know, um, 
my generation, you know, we had all decades of that sun damage before we knew anything about it. And of course, um, I know most of us are very diligent, you know, now and in the, you know, the pre well, I'd say the last 10 years about covering that decollage and, you know, making sure that we have a, a sunscreen on it. But even still, like even if you put the like a hundred on, I think you still it still mm -hmm. is so sensitive to to any kind of sun rays. Okay, I'm very happy with this color. Can you guys see that? So the chest, we just put a little bit on. Oh, I put yeah. some on the neck, and it's blending into both, mm -hmm. which I think is of great value because your skin you tone that? is going to change. Yeah, wow. As the seasons Ooh. change. But it's even here, this is your palest part, so I didn't expect it to blend so well even here. Wow. Um, so this is a great one. It, it'll blend all three skin tones together. So we're talking about the dark, the pale, and then the medium shade. So there was an Australian makeup artist I used to work with, Napoleon Purtis, who would never put makeup on the forehead. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So even out here, I'm, I'm being really soft. There's not a lot going on. Um, I'm concentrating really around the, just the natural redness that we all have around our nose. I'm using a brush, but the heat of your fingers is great for blending your foundation. This is my favorite SPF. So this is gonna be Barbie's setting powder. It's called La Belladonna Women. It's SPF 50, 50. It's preloaded. There's already a medium shade in here. This is shade number two that I'm using for Barbie. So I'm gonna just have this all over it's gonna set your foundation, but you don't even have to have foundation on under it like I do the ears. Right. When I'm driving, I always do my hands because you're just sitting there in oh, the sun. Oh, the worst, yeah. You have to put it on. And the creams you'll just wash off. This stays mm -hmm. on, you don't have to reapply it, which is great. Plus, it gives you a little, um, you know, it gives you a little brush up on your hands too because mm -hmm. you have that, uh, that that skin color on there. so. It, it those, blurs any the blurs and it blurs the spots and the those veins that pop up. Mm -hmm. So this is great, especially for summer. It's a summer must-have. It's a sunny day must-have. Well, have. California must-have because it's. Yeah, it's always I mean, sunny. when is it going to be today? Ninety, and it's already you know almost the middle of October, of November, mm -hmm. and it's you know still summer weather. Yeah, so that's your SPF. Wow. Translucent. Lovely, so light. Oh, this is what I noticed about the makeup is it's so light. Well, that's a great value. Because mm -hmm. that's one of the main complaints that I get, is it gonna be it's heavy? It's, too, it's not heavy at all. No, okay, thank God. I always line the lips first. Okay. Um, let's see, I want you guys to see this close up too. Cause I may cheat a little bit. You can see Barbie's lip. I mean, yours are already so well defined, but I wanna go maybe right above where the skin and the lip mm -hmm. meet. So I am cheating just a hair. This lip shade is called Charisma. This is still Ooh, La Belladonna. That's so pretty. Okay, and smile just a little bit for me. So ladies, what I'm looking for is the color of Barbie's tongue and her gums. If I can get my lip color to be close to that, and she doesn't have as much blue as most people do. She actually has a little bit of warmth to those tones. So I'm trying to match that to the inside of her mouth. And if I can do that, it's gonna look natural, you'll see. <laughs> I think charisma is her color. Mm. And the gloss, this is called Isabella. Mm, another beautiful name. Another beautiful name. <laughs> so, ooh, that's pretty. Mm-hmm. Very pretty. Mm -hmm. So feminine. So this is Isabella, the lip gloss, okay? And then I'll have you smile. So I'm gonna use it as Barbie's blush. It's clean beauty, you can use it there. Um, it's single digit humidity here in California, so a little bit of moisture mm -hmm. on the cheeks mm -hmm. is welcome. I'm loving it. Oh yeah. Hello. Just pop those cheekbones too. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. It is, everything's just so smooth and that pop of pink on the cheek it's remarkable. The lip color is luscious. It's not overdone, but it's certainly making a statement. The eyes are not overwhelming, but they're certainly saying hello there. Yeah. Fabulous, Jess. 
your makeup bag will be really tiny. Oh, <laughs> so you don't need much. Hallelujah. <laughs> my makeup kit just shrunk by about 20 sizes. <laughs> Fabulous. When the makeup's on, the hair even looks better. <laughs> I'm really loving this lip color. Me too. If you've ever set my chair, you know, I take a, a Kleenex and I just kind of load the lower lashes onto it. I kind of pull them down, if that makes sense. Like I, mm -hmm. so it just helps me find those little guys. Cause they're there just waiting to be invited to the party. <laughs> right. They get left out sometimes. <laughs> We were just chatting off camera about how this is an intimidating thing, the false eyelash thing, but you don't need like a full set. You just need like a few, right? Just a few. So these are called flare. These are the short black. They're really small, which I love. And then duo, the, we sell it. All the drugstores have it. This is the dark tone mm -hmm. or you could get the clear. Either one is fine. And you just need a pair of tweezers. Um, I will say it's not the easiest to do yourself, but boy, if you can. Practice makes perfect. Mm -hmm. okay. So I'm just putting a little bit of my glue here. And then I'm gonna dip the lash into it as I go. Just a little drop. I mean, I'm really not using much glue. Can you guys see that? Just the tiniest dot of glue. Mm -hmm. These are so lightweight and so easy to wear, whereas a strip lash which I have on is not easy to wear. So right now she has on how many, five? Yeah, four or five. Can you guys see the difference? Mm-hmm, let's see. Oh, such a difference, huh? Oh, your eyes are just sparkling. Yeah, they just, wow. the sparkle came, uh, just popped up, didn't it? Hi. Wow. And then look down. So I'm just trying to find a little space where there aren't as many lashes so I can hide these in there. Let's see. Wow, got it. Wow is right, huh? What a difference. Oh, and so you, you can see the transition from like, you know, just day to night. But even this isn't, you know, you can still wear this during the day. I think so. Oh yeah, it's not too much. No, it's very polished. Very polished, that's the word, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty. I hope you guys enjoyed this and all the links are below, everything that we use. Uh, thanks for, for tuning in and um, so many tricks of the trade that make such a difference and it's not hard to do. It's fun. Thank you. Thank you.